Okay, now I know this screen might look a little familiar to you, as I recently took out Toad Man. Don't worry, I'm really not going to be focusing on Mega Man 4, um, completely. I do intend to do the other games, in fact I had another Robot Master in mind to do next, but I've decided to return and take on Dive Man. I was inspired. You'll probably see why momentarily. Now, the Dive Man stage is one that I really do want to do. I didn't plan on doing it anytime soon, but I ended up practicing it when I was trying to get my uh, recording situation squared away, and I realized it's actually not that tough to perfect run. I say that now, of course. It also has some really great background music which for some reason does not get a lot of love, as far as I can tell, from the, um, from the fans. I have no idea why, but this song doesn't ever seem to be remixed or anything, and it just seems to be crying out for it. And yes, I'm going to have to resort to the um, Bright Stop, or Flash Stopper again, for these mini-bosses. Now here, the problem is not at all that the terrain is unfair. As you can see, it's really not. It's pretty uh, straightforward. The problem is with the behavior. Unlike the snail, um, the behavior of this mini-boss is unpredictable to a fault, and one of its attacks is nigh undodgeable. Those stupid homing missiles. This section here always tries to screw me up. It looks like you've got these two jellyfish things that are going to move at different rates, but really, if you jump one, you clear the other. It's just that simple. Now let's see if Eddie's gonna refuel my bright stopper. Why he's not. Thanks anyway, Eddie. Yeah, that was really poorly done. Let's try it again. Yeah. <laughs> that was... That didn't go as smoothly as it did in my practice run, believe me. But I think we're at the midway point. This is still my first recorded attempt at the Dive Man stage. Whoop. Definitely not going to be ended by a Stingray. Just being patient, because I'm doing really well and I want to keep it that way. Okay, this could be pretty tough. Let's see how careful I can be. Whoa! Forgot about him. But I think we have another uh, whale to contend with, so let's get ready here. And sure enough, we do. This guy can be done buster only, but you are pretty much at the mercy of uh, the random number generator. Because if the whale decides to just drop those slow-moving little mines down, you can take him down before they even reach your level. There's no danger at all, as long as you're uh, quick on the trigger. But if he does those homing torpedoes, um, it's a whole other story. They're much more difficult to avoid, and I don't think there really is any definitive way to avoid them. I think it's really all just luck. If I were to drop down that pit, I could get, I believe, the wire adapter? Um, it's either that or the balloon adapter. I think it's the wire adapter. But it's... I was going to say it's not worth the risk. There's really no risk involved. It's a pretty easy spike drop. But it's not worth the time in this case, because uh, we'll never really need it in this stage. These mines are pretty irritating. They never seem to explode when you want them to. Other than that, they're not really that bad. It's just uh, you wish they could be a little more predictable. Watch that jump, of course, if you're too high uh, moving onto this screen, you will be pierced by the spike. That used to be a serious problem for me with this level. In fact, this level used to cause me all kinds of problems. This is still my first um, recording attempt, so I wonder if we're actually going to have a flawless victory here. <sighs> On to Dive Man. Who is really easy once you know how to fight him. 
I would like to think that I know how to fight him, but we'll find out now. Volleys of three. Let's see if he behaves himself. Sometimes he behaves himself more than other times. Whoa, Mega Man, please face the right way. Okay. So far, so good, Dive Man. Of course, the problem is I end up forgetting how many he's actually fired because I'm spending... I'm devoting all my attention to his health meter, seeing how close I am to beating him. The answer was that close. Yeah. I'm done. I'm waiting for the music. There we go. I almost can't believe it. That was um, my very first attempt. Dive Man is officially easier than Toad Man. Yeah, I can't believe it either. <sighs> for my trouble, I get... the Dive Missile. It's going to be very useful if I choose to go after um, Drill Man. Oh, actually, I didn't even mean that it's Drill Man's weakness. It is, but that's not what I meant by it. Um, back to the stage select, and, uh, yeah, Dive Man. I guess I'm not really gonna have any outtakes. Although, that does give me a perfect opportunity, um, to show you the reason that I did this stage. Well, when I did. I did plan on doing it all along, but, yeah. So, um, here you go. Okay, here's the reason that I wanted to do this stage now. Because in my last video, I promised that you would never see this. But you know what? Oh, I guess we have to be in the water. That makes sense. Let's go. Why am I doing this? Well, because there's really only two stages in the entire game that have water. Uh, making <laughs> the Rush Marine unusable in other stages. And, um... One of those stages is Toad Man's stage, which is where we get the damn thing. So let's put this Rush Marine to some good use. As you can see, it kind of makes me a more awkward target, which I mean that it works in the enemy's benefit when I say that. Rush somewhat adorably fires um, pellets out of his mouth. It makes me a lot slower, a lot harder to maneuver. Let's see. Oh, Moby. Did he get me? I don't even know if he hit me, actually. I think I might have killed him as the uh, missile's coming to me, even though I turned tail like a frightened little uh, little squirrel. Uh, and, of course... Oh, that is actually perfect timing. Um, Rush got drained right before I was uh, going to exit here. Eddie, please... Okay, whatever. Okay, so I can't even use my buster now. I'm gonna have to refill my weapon energy. Fortunately, we have a respawning enemy right here. Am I really gonna do this? Let's try another time or two, see if we can get a big weapon energy out of him. If not, maybe what I'll do is, um... Yeah. Maybe I'll just cut and return here when I have more weapon energy. All right, finally done. And actually, I almost died doing that. The things I do for you people. So let's hope I actually make it through the stage in this godforsaken Rush Marine. Ah, 
Rush Marine can fly. How interesting. Please, Moby, leave me behind something. Okay, well, I'll be honest. Um, Rush Marine might actually be the way to take out those Mobies. Oh, I'm going to run out of Rush Juice. Ah, back to the buster. Hmm. And it looks like we made it to the end of another no damage Mega Man run. Thank you, Dive Man. This was a pretty strange stage for me, as I recall it giving me a lot of trouble when I was first learning its ins and outs. And there were a lot of uh, strange little moments uh, beside the mini boss where your jumping has to be perfect in order to land before the Met shoots you, where you have to avoid the stingrays and all the bombs at the same time. And I really thought that this would take me eight attempts before I got a no damage run successfully recorded. As you saw, in actuality, it only took me one. That's right, my very first attempt. That puts me seven ahead of the game, and makes me feel pretty darn good. On the plus side, it did give me plenty of chance to show off the uh, Rush Marine only run, for better or worse. But I guess that's it. So tune in next time for my next Robot Master, uh, which I promise will not be from Mega Man 4. It's already recorded, but it has to be edited. No promises on when it will be up. But thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And please do continue to comment. All your words mean a lot. Thank you, and have a great night.